All right, now we're going to look at flickering lights. To do this, we go to New, Night Lighting, and I'm just going to open up the default night lighting scene. Delete out this one. And put in its place a toggleable spotlight. Now to make this painfully obvious to what it's doing, I'm going to put 44 as the angle, outer cone, then go down to brightness and just turn it off. All right, let's go to Kismet. With the light selected, we can go right click, new matinee. We can also go right click, new event, level loaded. Now, however you want to trigger this, I showed you how to make a trigger and trigger it via the last video, but here's a way to just trigger it via level loaded, so it's just on. So, loaded, invisible, play. Double click matinee, and up pops this window. With the light selected, you can go right click, add new lighting group, and here's brightness. Now, this is only going to work on toggleable lights by the way. Okay. So how this works is you have the brightness and you can go in here to the properties of the light, which now I have up to billion windows open. So down below we have brightness. Notice it's at zero still. So what I want to do is here's my timeline, okay, from here to here is my time. So what I'm going to do is narrow down time to 0.5, get it to the front end of the timeline. Incidentally, you can scotch this over a little bit, and you can see the beginning into the negative sector of time. I'm going to add a key at zero, move it over, increase the brightness to something ridiculous. Add a key, then go back to zero right here. All right, now this is what it should look like. Okay, next, let's go back and get into Kismet real quick. We have to do one thing. On level loaded, we have to set the trigger count to zero. And in the matinee, we have to set that to looping, if you want it to loop. All right, let's hit uh, right click, play in here. Oh, there it goes. It was very fast. But there it is. Okay, now I can't um, stress how much, how easy this really is, but here's a couple things that you should know. Control allows you to drag these points. So if you want something a little bit faster, you can go like that, and then you can adjust your time be right there. Just like that. And you can close that out. I don't think there's anything to adjust in Kismet, so let me... Uh, here's play rate. So you could take that to... Play rate would be like maybe five. See how ridiculous that looks. Yep, there you go, seizure time. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. What I like is every once in a while, you know, have that lightning appear. So in this case, you wouldn't have such a, a really obscene cone angle like this. 
you could probably take the cone angle and match it back to zero. And then look at the radius for a second. Make sure the radius was actually going to hit the ground. In this case, the radius is right here. All right, so the radius would probably have to increase quite a bit, like, oh, let's say 2048 to encompass the entire level. Like that. And then you could time out your lightning to be anywhere. And you could have something in the sky too, but that's how you make a toggleable light flicker via kismet. What you use it for is up to you. Other than that, it's pretty sweet. Enjoy.